Hi Taurus, this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 6th through February the 12th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for February the 6th through February the 12th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for February the 6th through February the 12th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for February the 6th through February the 12th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, this is a peek at your partner. So, Taurus, your partner has the Eight of Pentacles. Your partner has the world. Your partner has the Nine of Cups. Your partner has the Eight of Swords. And your partner has the King of Cups. So, Taurus. Your partner has the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft. Perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Taurus, listen, it could be something going on at work, you know, work or business for your partner. However, they may want to work things out and willing to put in the work here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. Sorry. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Taurus could be dealing with a Leo. But listen, your partner could tell me that they're happy here. Or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the sun for Taurus's partner. Clarify the sun for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Taurus's partner. It is clarified with you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So, Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? 
clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or your partner rushing in or you rushing into your partner, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight and someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but Taurus, your partner is trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Taurus's partner. Clarify the magician for Taurus's partner. Clarify the magician for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account. Looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, listen, it just seems like there has been some type of confrontation. Now you could have been confronting them or them you because something was illuminated. Something came to light. And it could be something that's going on at work. I hope no one is being confronted at work. But your partner is taking out time, thinking about whether or not they want to continue to invest, reinvest, and work things out here. Taurus, your partner has the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Taurus, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely here or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Taurus's partner. Clarify the world for Taurus's partner. Clarify the world for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they fear that the offer will be rejected. So Taurus, listen, your partner may want to come back around again, work things out here and making this offer, but they fear you won't accept the offer. However, Taurus, your partner could tell me that they're declining this offer and they're wanting this cycle to close out completely here. Taurus, this could all be work or business for your partner. It may require some type of travel for this abundance for work here, okay? And maybe they're just not feeling it. Taurus, your partner has the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, I'm getting my wish here. Your partner could tell me that I'm just numbing out overindulging here or your partner's feeling smug in a situation 
I don't know why they would be. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Taurus's partner. Hmm. It is clear. Oh, that's why. With you, Taurus, the Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone a wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Now, Taurus, listen, even though this is you, this can speak of forgiveness, this can speak of you guys' commitment, can also speak of dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, maybe work or business here. But this is you. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus's partner. What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. Hmm. Taurus, first of all, <clears throat> I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're stressed, you're worried, you're anxious, you're all up in your head, you're stressing. But Taurus, I feel like it's your partner who may be worried and stressing about maybe some type of commitment here and getting their wish here. They may be stressing and overindulging because something is bothering them so bad, possibly about you guys' already established commitment and working things out. Taurus, is it that you're making them wait on whether or not you want to work things out with them? Taurus, your partner has a nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move. But they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things. Refusing to acknowledge some things. A lack of information. Blocked communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation. Or there's blocked communication. Clarify the nine of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. So Taurus, listen, yes, there could have been a walking away, detaching emotionally and blocking here, cycle closing out, rejecting the offer, yes. But Taurus, this reading could be vice versa. And I also want to say that with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So your partner may be wanting to return and they're stuck here. They're wanting to come back around again, but they fear you won't accept this offer. Taurus, your partner has the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Taurus, you could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this king of cups. Now, with the King of Cups, this is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also, with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or a message of it. So Taurus, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Taurus could be dealing with a Scorpio, but yes, your partner could tell me that there's an ending, okay? A closing out of a cycle, walking away. But it could also be starting new after an ending. And it can also be a transformation, meaning going from just dating to engage, from engaged to married here. Clarify death for Taurus's partner. Clarify death for Taurus's partner. Clarify death for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Taurus, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break here. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something. And I'm going to tell you, Taurus, with this read, this read could be vice versa. You walking away, detaching, and they're wanting you back. Them walking away, detaching, and just 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 wanting to just walk away here because they're just stressed over you and overindulging taurus this can be about coming up out of a commitment here things ending but it could also be that your partner is wanting some type of transformation here because it could be their wish that you guys go into a commitment and this is what they're stressing over taurus I feel like this is about working things out, but not just working things out. I feel like maybe your partner wants more. And yes, they could be walking away, blocking communication, but they could also be stuck on returning. Because with the returning, they fear you won't accept their offer. That's why I say this reading could be vice versa. Taurus, this is a peek at your partner for the week of February the 6th through February the 12th, 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.